So you're going through a campaign, um, you're on the ad set level and uh, you go here to click and uh, choose your conversion event goal. Um, and I'm just gonna add uh, this one here, for example, view content. And now it says a message like this, basically saying like, hey, like we'll do it, but um, this ad will be paused once Apple starts enforcing their iOS 14 privacy policy update. So that is something that is pissing off a lot of advertisers right now. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix this and how to avoid this. Uh, but before we get into it, I just want to say that I actually released a video about uh, the iOS 14 privacy policy update. And um, yeah, this really video is about 25 minutes long and it honestly covers everything, everything you need to do. Um, and also uh, some of the workarounds that you can actually implement right now in order to get not really affected by the iOS 14 privacy policy update. So I definitely recommend that you check out this video. I'll actually leave the link uh, of the video in the description of this video. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this and how to really avoid this um, specific thing. So that's a message that will sometimes appear when you're actually building your campaign, especially on the ad set level. And it can also appear, I've seen it appearing um, even after weeks of having that campaign appearing is going to appear on the ad set here. And there's going to be like a little like triangle the same way that you see here. Um, is going to show up right here or sometime it might even appear here on the resource center. So uh, the first thing you want to do to, uh, I guess, uh, avoid this and fix this is you need to verify uh, your domain uh, with Facebook. So in order to do so, you need a business manager account. So not ads manager, you need business manager. And the way, if you're, if you're not too sure what that is and how we can double check if you have one or not, um, it's really easy. All you have to do is go to business.facebook.com and then it's going to basically show you if you have a business manager or not. If you don't, you're just going to see something that says create your business account. Um, and if you do, well, you're going to see it. And all you have to do is click on it. So once you're in your business.facebook.com slash ads manager, you're going to click on business settings. And now it's going to bring you to like your main view um, and you want to verify your domain. So you're going to click on domains. Um, and then for you, you're going to add your domain. And then I've already verified our domain, so um, I am i can't do it again, but I've actually pulled this picture just for you. So forget the way it looks on the side here, but as soon as you add your domain, it's basically gonna show something like this. So you're gonna pick DNS verification um, and not HTML file upload. I don't really recommend that one. I recommend that you just do it through like your uh, domain provider, which is might be GoDaddy, HostGator, whoever you decide to uh, register your domain with. Um, and then, yeah, it's honestly pretty easy. All you have to do is uh, go in again, your domain register in the DNS uh, record section, you're gonna add this uh, TXT record um, in a DNS configuration. So yeah, all you have to do is you ha add that. It can take sometimes about 24 hours. Oh, here it goes. It says a max of 72 hours, but usually it can um, show uh, after 24 hours. And uh, yeah, you're basically, your domain is gonna be verified with Facebook. Now that you have that, now you can proceed to step two. Um, and that's how you add your different events to uh, Facebook Ads Manager. So the way you can do that is by clicking on Business Tools and you're gonna go to Events Manager. Perfect, okay. So now I'm just gonna pick uh, my ad account. Perfect, so now I am on uh, my pistol. And if I scroll down here, you're gonna see something new where it says aggravated event measurement. So that's actually something uh, new that Facebook uh, just installed on their platform. So if you click on it, you're gonna be able to configure your web events. So I'm gonna click on configure web events. It's gonna take a few seconds to load. Perfect. So um, now that's kind of why I said you should verify your domain here because um, you need to, do it to verify your domain. So um, here, that's my domain here. We can see that it's verified. So I'm actually gonna click on it. I'm gonna click on manage event, click edit. Okay, so now this is where I can add all my different events. And as you can see here, you can have only up to eight events per uh, domain. So um, that is a big deal if ever you are part of a really large company and you have multiple agencies managing different campaigns. Um, or even if you don't outsource it to agency, let's say it's all done internally, like you really want to make sure that you have a conversation with everyone that is involved um, and everyone really playing an ads manager and making sure that everyone's on the same page. And 
understand what will be those eight events. So we are a service-based business and honestly, there's not many, many things that we want to track. Um, we're not like an e-commerce uh, business where we want to track add to cart, uh, whenever someone purchases, uh, whenever someone, I don't know, fills up a form on a website or all these sort of things that an e-commerce company would want to track. For us, uh, we either have someone becoming a lead or we have someone filling up the contact form on the website. So I would probably just add um, another thing here and I would click on contact and also view content. Okay, so those would be my events and then I would submit it. And yes, I understand. And then perfect. So that's how I would add these events to my store. If ever you're like, okay, well, I don't know, what are what are my options, right? So you can actually go here and I'll also leave the link of this uh, article in the description of this video. And you can see all of the different standard events that uh, Facebook tell you that you can actually use. So um, there's ad payment info. So that's whenever a user um, adds their billing information, as you can see here, add to cart, which that's really, really popular if you're in the e-commerce industry. Same thing with add to wish list, uh, complete registration. So that could be uh, any SaaS company or anything like that where sometimes there's like multiple steps that they need to take in order to create their account. Um, contact, so that's what we use whenever someone fills up a form on our website uh, or even whenever they click like the, the phone number on our website. So that would trigger um, a contact event. And then, you know, you see, you can see the list here. As you can see, there's definitely more than eight. But as I mentioned, in our case, uh, what we really care about is view content and we care about uh, lead and also contact. But if you're in the e-commerce industry, I definitely recommend that uh, you ha definitely have more than two. Like you should definitely have the add to cart, for example, um, and then obviously definitely the purchase. One thing worth mentioning is that you will only see uh, these events like in your list, right? The, the list right here that I was able to see manage event, edit again. So the only options that you'll get are the options that you are currently sending events to, to I guess, if that makes sense. So right now, as I said, we are we only using these three different sort of events. So what I'm doing is with Google Tag Manager, whenever a user uh, becomes a lead, I'm automatically sending um, an event to Facebook saying, hey, um, like some, this person just became a lead with the Facebook pixel. Let me show you a little bit how this works. So I'm in Google tag manager. Um, so Google tag manager is basically something that you can use to, you put on your website once. And then from there you can put different, I guess your events in something called tags. And then you can push these events to Facebook whenever, um, the condition becomes true. So that's where you have your triggers here. So the trigger is when this happens, then send this tag um, to Facebook and in this tag, then that's when we have our event. So I'm gonna give you, um, I'm just gonna show you here, let's say Facebook, um, let's grab the lead. So that's our lead one. So basically it's a JavaScript and it's just saying script. Um, then it's uh, calling Facebook and we're saying, hey, someone just became a lead. Um, now let me show you contact us, right? Now we're using the contact and then we can see view content. That's when someone views the content, which that's something that we wanna trigger on all pages. So basically what I'm saying is that if you have simply the, the, the basic Facebook pixel on your website, you won't actually get these, um, these specific events because you're not sending them to Facebook. Unless you have a Shopify store, if you have a Shopify store, uh, Facebook actually integrates directly uh, with Shopify. So automatically it's going to send your events, um, to uh, Facebook. So that's going to be great. So for you, you don't really need to change your coding or anything like that because automatically uh, Shopify is going to send that information to Facebook. But if you're using something like WordPress and a lot of different, uh, I guess website builders out there, 
then um, you're going to need to send the information and send the event with, by using something like Google Tag Manager. So that's not really something I'm going to cover in this video. Um, really, the goal of this video was just to show you how to fix this, um, I guess, this error message from Facebook. But yeah, that is really the the real the real way of uh, fixing it and avoiding that your ads uh, do get paused. So. Just a little recap. So first of all, you want to verify your domain with Facebook. How do you do that? You go to domain safety and then you add your domain and then it's going to ask you to add a specific uh, piece of code of TXT record in your DNS configuration. So you do that it takes about 24 to 72 hours and then uh, your domain will be verified. And then all you have to do is pick the different events that you want to use as uh, your, yeah, that you want to use as your default events and uh, remember you can only have eight events per domain so guys that is it for this video that is how you uh, take care of this notification from facebook um, because of the ios 14 privacy policy update and hopefully the question that you had uh, and the reason why you wanted to watch this video has been answered now if it hasn't uh, please let me know in the comment section i do actually take the time to respond to everyone so i guarantee you i'll have your uh, answer um, in just a few moments but if you did enjoy the content please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe to this channel because we honestly release uh, videos just like this one really informative videos uh, really every week so make sure you do that and uh, that is it and bye for now